Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're going to be going over the Supreme Unreal and Unity Game Dev Bundle 2. So there are a ton of first time in this Humble Bundle deal. All you have to do is pay $30 to get 60 entire items. And it does support the Extra Life slash Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. And let's go ahead and actually import some of these into Unreal Engine and get started. As you can see, there are a ton of uh, stylized environments, semi-realistic, and a lot of effects that we see down here. We see these kind of like Kamehameha's, a lot of different spell effects, some leveling effects, uh, really cool markers and pointers, uh, some cool spell effects and all that. And we even have some like kind of sci-fi looking walls. And yeah, let's go ahead and open quite a few of these in Unreal and check it out. All right, the first one we're going to be going over is called Paradise. So this looks straight out of Arc or something. Really high looking graphics, really nice. Love the water texture and the foliage. We got some tropical trees and some looking like some old garage parking lots that are just abandoned and covered in vines. We have a little pathway going up here into this broken territory kind of looks like a, a nice place to paintball or something if you're into that stuff. And yeah, some nice lighting and just a ton and ton of foliage and so on these very white looking trees uh a lot of the materials overlap with the names so when i import them they kept asking to like overwrite each other's material names i really hope that a lot of asset creators on the ue marketplace does kind of fix this issue because overlapping material names is really annoying especially if you have a ton of their especially if you have a ton of their assets to uh, bring in. Overall, this is a pretty nice looking asset. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. This is the Lake Village pack, a uh, really cool asset. So we have this uh, little abandoned looking village. It kind of looks like the movie called The Village. If you've ever heard of that, it's a village about where you just can't have the color red in it or else these weirdos come after you. But really nice indoor modular setting here. This actually looks very, very nice. I didn't really expect, expect anything modular or indoorsy to go on. So let's go see what's in here. It's a little dark in here. I'm just going to destroy this door here. Let's destroy a couple walls for some lighting. I think I just destroyed a tree. But yeah, overall pretty cool. Okay, it's just wooden flooring. All right, I got scammed. But yeah, overall pretty cool. I love that you can make things indoorsy. It does come with some nice flooring. We have this kind of same little fire going on this little chimney effect i wonder if we have smoke effects on top oh yes we do we do have a chimney here indeed and then going straight down the chimney is actually over here but the fire is over here i'm being scammed what the all right well pretty cool asset uh let's go ahead and check out some of the other things so we have a covered up well in here i wonder if i can uncover it oh i can okay nice so we can uncover the well we have a couple of boats this looks kind of realistic now just because of the lighting this looks really really cool uh, the, the texture budget on the top left does kind of ruin the immersion a little bit. But other than that, really cool looking asset. Let's go see what is down here. So I just left clicked and clicked F to kind of zoom into the object I selected. Uh, just a couple of God rays in here and just some objects here and there. And yeah, overall, pretty cool asset. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. This is the Rotten Factory. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. This is an actual light. Okay. I got really confused. Yeah. So a light beam type thing. And then we have a lot of a uh, machinery looking thing over here. Uh, this looks pretty cool overall. I am liking kind of how this looks. It looks like a very horror game vibe slash uh, maybe abandoned adventure, kind of like Last of Us. And okay, so I'll just stay within the factory. I'm guessing because it's called Rotten Factory. All we can do is see the factory. So we have some very narrow, sharp corner looking staircases here. I can go ahead through these doors, check these out. Uh, let's see what's up here. Just some broken windows and some god rays, a ton of wires on the ground. And then we have the roofing here. We have more uh, building stuff here that I didn't see. Okay, wow. This looks like the Mako reactor from Final Fantasy a little bit. Uh, really green, misty vibes over here. We have some uh, nasty looking water down here. Kind of looks like there would be a lot of monsters or piranhas in the, in the water itself. And yeah, just a ton and ton of wires. Kind of looks like a... Maybe the Epic servers whenever they're not working so well, uh, especially, well, this is probably like where they host fab, honestly, but yeah, overall pretty cool asset. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. This is the Slavic hut and overall this looks really pretty. This kind of looks like something out of Disney uh, and yeah, ton and ton of foliage, very colorful, bright red colors, a uh, very nice looking environment. There's kind of that misty background, making it seem very distant. Kind of seems like something creepy could be back there, but let's go ahead and just check out this house for a second. A very different style than what we're used to. It looks a very Valheim-ish, very Viking-ish, uh, very Slavic as described. But yeah, very wooden. a lot of wooden textures. We have this kind of deer head as an entrance. Not really too sure if that's our friendliest. And then we can go inside and 
it's not the most uh, modular, I think. At least there is a lot of open space for you to kind of do whatever in here. It is a little dark in here, so let's go ahead and leave. And we have these really nice looking stylized, kind of like cartoon friendly looking trees. Uh, actually, this one kind of looks, there's an eye on this tree. Never mind, this is not cartoon friendly. What is going on? These trees have eyes. What is that intentional? I think it is. It has to be intentional if all of them have it. What the? The trees are watching. We got a nice looking bench here, but holy crap, that is a uh, low key a little creepy on the trees part. Why do these trees have eyes? I'm not even tripping. Those are just straight up eyes. But all right, let's go ahead and check out the next one. This is the retro house. This looks amazing. First time you open it, this looks really, really nice. I, I'm loving this. Kind of looks like something I would expect from a, a happier version of Fallout. This looks very, very cartoony, very stylized. It's kind of giving me the Jetsons vibe. I'm not sure if these are AI generated images or something. Uh, it does look a bit AI-ish, but that looks really funny nonetheless. Still really, really cool. I love how rounded corners these are. Really friendly looking. Um, okay, wait, actually, it's not the most modular. I don't think I can open these doors because this is one whole piece. Uh, still really cool, though. At least each cup, plates, and all that are individual assets. We have this picture of a cat called maybe Cater. Okay, uh, and then we have these kind of old school Y2K style uh, drawings over here. And then we even have the picture of the Jetsons. Okay, um, pretty sure you can't use that, but... I'm no expert in copy. What? We're in space? I didn't even notice this. It's a box in space. It looks like a elongated TV or a microwave, but okay, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, all of this is really amazing. Like, if I saw this in a game, I would want to spend time to look at the level here. Everything's so neatly organized, really well designed. Uh, it's really, really cool. Cool flooring, cool everything. Like, this looks... This looks stunning. This looks amazing. This is called the cottage interior. So just a pretty normal looking landscape with some foliage. Let's go ahead and check out the inside. So over here, we have this little hut or a cottage, a um, couple of fences, a little battery pack or a battery charger to charge the cottage. And we have a nice looking Christmas tree, a little mini bed, closet, some storage, some vegetables, like a tiny kitchen. A uh, really nice stone looking wall, um, a lot of spider webs. It looks a little nice to have spider webs. Also, we have a nice looking chimney here, a ladder, a really high up library, and a US flag and a shovel. Pretty cool asset, let's check out the next one. All right, this is the cyberpunk living room slash kitchen. Very neon light, very futuristic, very nice. Looks straight out of <laughs> cyberpunk. And yeah, really cool bar area. I guess this living room or cyberpunkish apartment complex is kind of like a dream one because holy crap with this much real estate. Um, yeah, I can't afford this kind of rent, but really cool. We got some cool uh, digital looking gadgets and screens on the wall. Not really sure what they're for. We got this. I'm guessing this is a giant monitor or TV. Uh, for some reason, we have a kitchen pot on this table and not in the actual kitchen. Oh, well, the kitchen's right here, I guess, so. Pretty cool. We got this futuristic looking coffee or cafe. I'm not sure why it's spelled like that, maybe a different language, um, but yeah, pretty cool. And then we have these, uh, kind of looks like AI generated pictures with these text over here. And yeah, overall pretty cool looking asset. Let's go ahead and see the upstairs. So we have this, uh, I mean, you could turn this into an aquarium, honestly. This looks really nice. And then you can have a chair right here to watch your fishies swim. And yeah, not much of an upstairs, but overall pretty cool looking asset. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the next one. This is the Desert Ruins. And it kind of looks like an old school Call of Duty map. We have this barbed wire, a uh, few cactuses out and about. And then we can go inside. We see all these kind of modular indoor setups. A pretty cool looking asset and lots of stone type walls, mud, clay, whatever it kind of looks like we are in the middle east a little bit and yeah kind of looks pretty cool and there isn't although that much to it uh still could be pretty useful for your game let's go ahead and check out the next asset this is the magical abilities volume two so if i go ahead and hit play you can see a ton and ton of spells uh let me actually leave my character so we can see what's going on here so over here, we have this like explosive heal type effect, uh, just a bunch of explosions. So we got static, slows, gravity, 
uh, lightning, fire, ice, basically all your kind of normal stuff. We also have this singular kind of meteorite coming down in all sorts of elements, all different colors, all leaving a different effect on the ground. This one can burn someone when you walk over it. This one can slow and so on. And then we also have, uh, let's see, kind of like these, um, I guess, missiles coming down or, yeah. And then we also have these raindrops of spells, kind of like uh, these like bow, uh, spell amplified arrows. And then over here, we have another AOE spell as well as over here. We got some kind of ground effect going on here and over here as well. So pretty cool asset. Got a lot of fire, lightning, healing, all sorts of things that can that you can really add to your game. Maybe I'll use a few of these to create some ninja gas abilities and let's go ahead and check out the next asset. All right, so this one is the maps and markers and pointers, uh, special effects that you can place onto the ground. So just in different color variations, we have this kind of ping location, arrow sign, question marks, uh, assault location. These would be really good for RTSs, kind of like when you A, left click in League of Legends or Dota 2 or something, you kind of see those triple arrows going in. You can use those as like an assault sign and so on. And then we also have um, some blinking type ones over here, like a ping and so on. And then we also have the attack, defense, uh, archer sign and so on, healing and mana potions and all that. And we also have little recovery zones or little teleports over here as well. And we also have these little cursors in case like a missile's landing there or something. But yeah, overall, pretty cool pings. Let's go ahead and check out the next asset. And now let's check out the medieval village. So pretty straightforward. We have this nice body of water, nice village just up against the, uh, on the beach or whatever. And then we go inside, we have these kind of rocky foundation and these medieval looking towers. Let's see if there's some indoors and there indeed is some indoors that you can kind of modularize here. Really cool looking asset. Uh, we have this just bunch of little roundabouts over here. A lot of doors could kind of looks like an entire village system could be set up. If you add some NPCs and some liveliness, it would look amazing. Add whatever flooring you want, but it is mostly just exteriors from what I'm seeing. And yeah, overall, pretty cool looking asset. We even have these little uh, party things or whatever these are. And yeah, pretty cool looking asset. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. And now we have the New York City gaming apartment. So this is, uh, we got our nano leaves and cool kind of like cliche cheesy um gamer posters in the back like this level up uh play chill repeat and we also have the game over stuff and so on we got a little clock with the weather on it it's just always going to be 70.2 fahrenheit degrees and so on we have this um little pixel art here and all that uh pretty cool looking book covers with this little light up outline and each books or some of the books are Oh yeah, they are individual. Okay, so pretty cool. We also have old school games. So we got the PX6, uh, definitely not a reference to PS6 or whatever. Uh, that's This is actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, this is actually pretty well detailed. I kind of like how these look. Uh, these, I can't even tell if these are AI generated, but at the same time, these came out really well. Wow, this is uh, really cool to even just go ahead and change the material. You can even change the materials on this in order to just kind of make your own game. Welcome to Dream Park Tycoon, where your imagination is the blueprint and fun. That's that's really cool. Okay, I'm loving these little details. That looks really well polished. <laughs> then we got a little Fiji camera or Fuji camera. And then we have a pink DX racer chair along with a double monitor setup, even though this should be a two monitor. We got the NVIDIA, I mean, uh, <clears throat> Vision RTX with our temperature and our ram and so on and yeah really cool pc setup we even got cookies uh a standing desk that can go up and down a really nice looking keyboard setup with a cat logo on it even a cat mouse candy rush so 50 sweet 50 sweet energy okay pretty cool pretty cool and we also have a laptop here uh yes yeah, kind of looks like a like a cat mom or a gamer and so on we got a mini fridge right next to the couch and for some reason, we have a full-on pizza on the ground when there's a table right here that um, that definitely has to be breaking some laws of New York. But overall, really cool. And we have a projector showcasing some anime. Uh, kind of looks like Studio Ghibli. But overall, this is a really, really cool... I love the detail of this apartment. It looks really well polished. And we have a little closet here. And yeah, the rest of it does look really well polished. Really RGB lights and so on. Uh, cool little bathroom here. And yeah, overall, pretty cool asset. I do like this one. Let's go ahead and, oh, okay. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. 
And over here, we have the stylized street. So as you can see, very colorful palettes here. Uh, this does take place in Tokyo, as it says here. Uh, it says Tokyo over here. So we got a bunch of streets, uh, a bunch of veggies and fruits on the street, on these little wooden stands, uh, some carts here. And yeah, pretty cool. We got these little townhouses, very cutesy, all these different color townhouses over here. A little bit of foliage and yeah, overall, and we have this little kawaii art of a cat or something. Kind of looks like a dog face that just ended up turning into a cat. And yeah, that pretty much covers this one. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. And for this one, we have the laser beam. So you can see all sorts of color, all different effects at the end of it uh, on the impact and so on. So we got lightning ones. We got fire, ice, uh, some green kind of healing looking ones. And yeah, all different types. So let's go ahead and check out the next asset. So these ones are pretty unique. These are spells in the in Niagara VFX forms. So you can see you kind of shoot out like a minion or some kind of like a, a magical mana coated animal over here. So we have dinosaurs, bears, some tigers, birds, elephants, giraffes, and all that. But yeah, overall in a shark as well in a rhino. But yeah, overall pretty cool asset. Let's go ahead and check out the next one. This is the tree grove asset. And this is the, this is the tree grove asset. Looks very stylized. It actually looks really pretty. Uh, looks kind of like an elven forest or something from Breath of the Wild a little bit. So we have a ton of foliage on this abandoned looking post. Uh, lots of different styles of trees and this very like anime-ish colored oak or whatever. And we have some rocks over here, nice sunlight and all that. And yeah, overall just really pretty assets of a bunch of plants and all that. And yeah, that's pretty much going to cover it for this tutorial. I didn't go over every single asset, but I did go over most of them. Uh, thanks for watching. Curl the road. Like, subscribe, comment below. We're going to see you next. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.